Very important. A sixth frozen ima image is that of a 26 years old uh, female married nine months and residing in uh, UK. Ultrasound has been performed there showing uh, different pathology, uh, different uh, picture as compared to what I am seeing over here. Now, I have frozen this image to show you the long first the dimensions of the uterus. So far as the dimension of the uterus is concerned, it is normal. You see, this is the fundus, the cervix, the body, and this is the endometrial canal. So uh, it measures 8.3 centimeter in length, 3.2 centimeter in anterior posterior diameter, which is within normal dimensions. This is the urinary bladder. This is the longitudinal section of the uterus. Now, on this side, right side of the image, you are seeing a transfer section of the uterus. In this, you will see two ecogenic, uh, ecogenic linear uh, areas. This is one, this is two. Now, this is endometrial canal number one, and this is endometrial canal number two. So there are two endometrial canals seen in transfer section, coronal section, and uh, uh, this and with the and you see the outer surface uh, does not show any indentation. Um, so it rules out bicornuate uterus. So I'll go for a subsubtate uterus with two endometrial canal, and when we will scan in longitudinal section you will note that the cervix of uh, is one, vagina is one, cervix is one, body is one, but then there is diversion of the uh, endometrial canal into two. So uh, with no indentation in between, this is a case of, uh, by, uh, sorry, uh, subsubtate uterus and uh, uh, type five malarian duct anomaly that we say, and this is the right ovary, this one, with no follicular activity uh, in the in the right ovary. So now let me show you all this on uh, real time, right now is there. Now first I will uh, place it in, uh, I will get the uterus in trans transfer section. This is the transfer section. And in this transfer section, you can see that uh, there are two canals, two endometrial cavities. Yeah, here. And the, you see that this is the myometrium, transfer section of the uterus and the ecogenicity of uh, the area in between these two canals, endometrial canals, is the same as uh, that of the other myometrium. The distance between these two is, uh, sorry, the distance between the two canals is approximately 9.4 mm, and uh, in transfer section, the size of the uterus is six, centimeter and if normal should not exceed more than five. So this is our first study. I mean, okay, now whatever we get, we should straight away see that and then move on to the other study. This is the left ovary. This one. This is the left ovary showing you no follicular activity. Right was also showing no follicular activity. See, this is the uh, right ovary, uh, sorry, left ovary. These are the iliac vessels as per uh, the landmarks. seen this is the these are the iliac vessels this is the ovary now we come to the main study 
and that relates to the uh, endometrial, two endometrial canals, normal ecogenicity. Now, what I am going to do is, I am going to take this cavity in view and then make it longitudinal. This is the transfer section of the uterus. I am going to use this endometrial cavity, this canal, and going to 90 degree, give it a 90 degree sweep, keeping the canal in the center. And here we see a full longitudinal view of the uh, uterus. Okay. Now this was the one that I showed you on the right side. Now the left one. This is the left one. Now I'm going to do the same maneuver uh, with this, uh, keeping this uh, endometrial canal, right-sided uh, endometrial canal in the center of the screen. And uh, now I'm going to give us 90 degree sweep and here we are. So you can see that uh, both, now if we study the uterus, the uterus is normal inside the endometrial canal, the division of the canal is here. This is the can canal number say two, this is the canal number one, endometrial cavity number one. And uh, at the time of ultrasound, it, it's three point it measures approximately four millimeters. So uh, this is, uh, in fact, a case of, uh, this is how we can prove that this is a case of uh, bicornuate uterus. Let's do it again. Let's uh, focus this uh, endometrial canal and uh, this one, this one. And now I'm going to give a sweep to the probe. Here it is. Here it is. So this is our. Now, again, transfers, keeping this one, the, the second one in the center. I am going to give a sweep to the probe, and here we are with it. Let's do it with the other one. This one. This is the second one. Now I am going to give a sweep to the probe, keeping this one in the center, and you will see it will separate from the other one. And if I give a sweep to the now the another one another interesting phenomenon. Here you are seeing the uterus in longitudinal section with at one endometrial canal. As I uh, angle the probe posterior in uh, towards the uh, right side here here it comes the other one one and two with maneuvering I can get both this one this one see one two So this is a case of subsubtate uterus uh, and the cause of her uh, you know, not being conceiving so far. Now here I can see uh, both ovaries and I can easily give, uh, show you uh, again this is the uterus, its length six, six centimeter endometrial canal cavity one, endometrial cavity number two. This is the ovary, this one, left ovary. And this is the right ovary. This is the urinary bladder. So this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.